looks like we've got a bit of the old morning dew. And I'm sure that balloon's back out again. Non-stop for his business. So it's about 7am and we've done everything we need to do on the farm. The cows are all sorted. And we're just going to drop this back off because we had it for a date. So now we need to take it back. Definitely came in handy, this did. Looks like he does beef stock. A fair few bales down there as well. It just goes to show as well, with this tool that we've been pulling, we can cope with this. We can definitely cope with what's needed. And I am going to try and push for something arable in the field, but I think there's a few things we need to do before that. We need to turn the soil, which we're going to aim to do today. We're going to get the plough out, see what that's like. The most we can do with the plough is probably clean it off, just to see the state that it's in. Imagine it's not been used in a while. And then we'll get out in the field, we'll turn the soil. And I'm going to take a soil sample. But I'm going to do it on my own accord. I'm going to pay for it myself. It might be about 100 quid. But I think it's probably the best thing to do. We'll take a soil sample, send it off, and get it analysed. Because even if we do grass, which is not really what I want to do, I want to try and convince George to let me do a crop. Preferably something different. I mean, as I drive around these fields, all you ever really see around here is barley wheat I love the barley fields around here and I can understand why it is quite commonly grown but I think we should try and do a bit of rapeseed get some rapeseed in the ground it's a bit different we might get a better price for it because of that and we need to try and think about the fact that we've only got a small field so we're never going to turn in much money so why not try a bit something a little bit different like canola We can still make straw from canola, it's just not as good straw. But we can still make some some straw from it. I think uh, George will like the idea of us getting a bit of straw because it means he doesn't have to pay for it. Speaking of George, I haven't seen him all morning. Been there for an hour and his truck's gone. Yeah, nowhere to be seen, I haven't got a clue. Right, so that's that done. We'll just let him know that we've dropped it off where we found it and we'll thank him. Try and keep him in the good books just in case we need to come back again. Looks like they do a delivery service of some sort. I saw that truck yesterday. Same condition. Maybe they deliver parts as well. Yeah, that balloon. Maybe one day we'll go and have a go at that just to see what it's like up there. I mean, I get some good aerial shots from the drone, but I imagine it's a completely different world from that view. So it's about quarter to eight now. Not too bad. I think we'll have a good chunk of the day to do this. Get this field sorted out, ploughed up. Not really much else to do. We've got the muck to spread still in the grass field, but we don't need to really do that. Like I said, it's had a fair whack and muck already on that field so I ain't too keen on uh, putting too much on just because if we do want to cut it again we don't want that dried muck to be there we kind of want it to rain just so it kind of mixes in a bit better uh, but yeah we, we'll, we'll spend most of the day now focusing on ploughing this field uh, and if we do see George I will mention to him about the field because after I've ploughed it got some results back from, from the lab it'll be interesting to see what the pH is like. It might be quite acidic soil. I imagine it probably will be if it's just been sitting there. And probably no nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. So it'll be interesting to see what it needs. Nice farm over there. But I also need to talk to him about planter or a cedar. We haven't got anything like that. And I know he agreed to lease that out for 400 quid, which thinking about it was probably a little bit steep for him. But I don't know if he's going to want to do the same with a planter and buy seeds, get the harvester fixed. I mean, there's loads that we should be doing really if we wanted to make that the best we can. We need some fertilizer. We might have to hire someone in, a contractor to come in to 
to spray that field, but it's such a such a small field, really. We shouldn't be hiring in contractors for that. They'll probably laugh at us. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll try and tackle it, I guess. Do as much of it we can. I, I really would like him to go and let us just do one field of arable, just to see if it's worth it, really. I, mean, I think there's only one way to find out, but it is up to George at the end of the day. It's his farm, and I'm just working, but I mean... I'm happy to do all the work if he puts the money up front for it. Right, so let's just park this over here. We're not going to have a look at the cows and the ball. Ah, probably should turn the beacon off. There we go. Yeah, I have cleaned him out, like I said. Topped up the feed a bit. Everything's fine in here. But they are staying out now. So George did agree to let them stay out in the day and overnight. Which has obviously made things easier for me cleaning out. I don't have to do it as much. And also I've given it a good clean this time around. But... So yeah, that's that makes things easier. So as you can see, the ball's just living the dream at the moment. Still unsure what we're going to be doing. I know he's got a plan. But he hasn't given too much away. But we're going to need more space, that's a certainty. Because if we even get double the cows we've got now, we're going to need more space. But it still won't be anything compared to what Tony and Mick have got. Right, so we just want to bring this out and have a quick look at it. Definitely needs a clean. Do you know what? It's actually in good nick. Doesn't look like there's hardly any rust on this at all. Maybe he's had a bit of shelter. That is great news. And I'm hoping that the steep nose will pull this in the field. Hey, what the hell? What time is it? Four past eleven. Yeah, normally George handles this, but it looks like the tanker drivers here pick up the milk, so I guess, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to take care of this. Well, I didn't know if they were going to get out of that, but they did. Right, so I've taken care of that. Didn't take them long, 20 minutes. They were in and out. We haven't got much milk on this farm, um, and I think that's why they, they don't like coming too often. But he seemed all right. Yeah, he seemed all right anyway. He was happy enough. Uh, but God knows where George is. I haven't got a clue. Like I said, normally he handles that, and I don't have to even worry about the milk inside. Um, I'd like to get into it. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to get into the parlour work, but the problem is I haven't got enough cows, so I think George doesn't mind handling that. Tank driver, when he comes, he handles that as well. Same with the fuel. Yeah, just a little bit strange. But, you know, it's not our business. We'll, we'll leave into it, and we'll just crack on. You know, he probably would prefer it just to use our own initiative here and just do what we got to do. Like I said, we've got the muck spreading. Cows are all fine and happy. We're now going to start turning this field and make this the job for the day. If we get this done, I'll be happy. I'm really happy. I think we're showing a good initiative then to, uh, to George. Hey, look at this. This is in good nick. It's not often I say that, but this is definitely in good nick. Yeah, I was saying before the the tanker driver came that uh, I'm hoping this Ford pulls this. Now, ideally, I probably want to use that, but definitely not going to jump in that without uh, asking George first. So we're just going to have to make do here and just hope that uh, it works. We haven't got any front weight on as well. Not ideal. Probably want a front weight... Oh, and it's not like we can even attach the weight that's on the Massey. Hmm. This is going to be tricky. We're just going to have to see how it goes. And I don't think there's any weights lying around for that. I'm sure there isn't. There's even a jet wash down there. I've been using a hose. I asked George about this the other day. And he basically said it hasn't worked in ages. He said he brought it brand new and it never worked. Which I find hard to believe, but... I guess it's another thing we can have a look at at some point. Same with the harvester. We definitely need to get that going. 
And from what Mick was telling me on the phone, he's pretty confident. Anyway, let's jump in and let's see how this performs. I mean, at the end of the day, we can't work miracles. If this doesn't pull it, and we haven't got enough juice under the bonnet, we're going to have to just speak to George and see if we can switch over when we actually find him. Because like I said, I haven't got a Scooby where he's at. Not a complete Scooby. Another nice day though, that's what we want. No bad weather on the horizon. Looks like everything's pretty much nice and dry and sunny at the moment. Perfect weather to make some hay and do a bit of field work. So, we might have to get back in that field soon and start making a bit of hay maybe. Would love to do some silage but... I ain't got the right tools for that, we need a wrapper. Probably another baler as well. Right, so, here we are. This field looks so much better than what it did. It really does. In fact, we'll leave the gate open, we may as well. So, I'm thinking here now to go probably round the edge just once, just to see how it's going. And then we'll work our way up and down the field. It's going to take a while. It really is going to take a while because it's not the easiest job in the world to plough. It always takes a lot of stress on the, on the tractors. Because technically we're digging right down into the soil and yeah we are trying to turn that soil over completely anything that's been in there turn it up like could be stones could be anything really it's never easy never easy at all but do you know what we are doing a cracking job we are pulling up a few stones and uh, that's going to be pretty difficult when we come to plant so we're going to have to try and remove them somehow or even throw them back down in the ground somehow yeah we are picking up quite a bit aren't we just goes to show how long it's been since this field's been had any kind of farming or attention to it look at the stones that we're picking up man hmm it's going to be tricky this is I mean we, we've got to do it even if we did grass we're going to have to turn the soil but yeah it is going to be a lot trickier than I probably originally thought when I asked George if we can tackle this but we've done it now we've set our sights on it I'm not going to let it beat me just depends on the tools we've got really doesn't it like I said I'm hanging over a little bit here just to make sure that it does the job we don't want to set herself up for disaster getting a tractor and it wouldn't go up the hill but it's going up the steepest part right now so I'm happy but this is definitely going to be able to finish the job let's try and get as close to the wall lift it up we'll uh, position herself again I think we're doing a pretty good job pretty decent this is a few stones like I said you can see them they're just scattered in some parts of the field uh, but yeah they are pretty prominent all around so we're going to have to definitely have a look at that see if we can figure something out but overall look how good this is looking turning the soil it looks instantly more healthy now what I've decided to do I think this is a good point for me take a few samples I'm going to try to take one down here I might take one over here because it's somewhat in the middle and then I'm going to take one down at the bottom corner just to try and give us a good understanding mainly just the pH we want to know how acidic the soil is because that will affect the growth of the plant and then also we want to check how much nutrients in there we mainly need nitrogen phosphorus and potassium they're the main three for the field there's, there's, there's some other like nutrients as well especially the uh, nitrates and stuff like that but um, I think the main thing for us with this field is just the three minerals and then 
yeah, pH of the soil. So let's take one from here. I've got me, me spade and my bags. There we go, so that's one of them. Let's take one just behind the plow. There we go, that's two. And if we just take one down at the bottom corner here, I think that'll be fine. It's going to probably cost me around 100 quid for this, but I'll pay for that. I don't mind doing this. I'd rather get it right. I mean, imagine if we get this field sorted out properly and then next harvest, we're actually harvesting a crop and it comes out and turns some money for George. How chuffed to bits will he be? You never know, it could be then a proper plan for the, for the years to come. So there we go, that's three. So what I'll just quickly do, so I don't mess this up, is I'll put them, I'll put them back at my trailer. And then we've got them ready to go. And I'll sort that out later on. I'll get it posted. Now I'll just put them on here for a minute. That'll be alright. There we go. So it's past two o'clock now. We're doing alright, I think, still. Still quite a good chunk of this field to go. But I'm going to start making the up and down passes now. So I best crack on with it, get my head down and get this done. Still see nothing to George though. I haven't got a clue. You know what? I think we're just about done. It looks like we are. Now that was a fair job. As you can see, the sun's going down. We've done well. We really have. It looks... Let's just get the torch out. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We haven't missed any bits. It's difficult to see. I mean, that was a big job. For this tractor to turn the soil the way it's just done it took a long time and we are what close to seven o'clock now so we're in the evening um, and the clouds are coming out as well so we're getting looks like we might have a bit of rain coming but yeah happy with this got to sort these stones out though i'll have to speak to george about that see if he's got any idea what we can do but yeah overall pretty happy what a job that was fair job for this but gotta give the uh, forward a pat on the back I mean, it's done absolutely splendid so let's head back I mean this tractor can do with a bit of a clean now I'm happy with how it's turned out so we're going to drop this off still seen nothing of George I haven't seen him pulling or anything God knows where his truck is and God knows where he is Right, so I think what I'll do is I'll just park it up and I think we'll leave cleaning it till till tomorrow. I'm sure George won't mind when he sees it. He'll realise we've been busy and done quite a lot of work. Let's just lower it down. There we go. That'll be fine there. Wow. What a busy day out in the field. I'm hoping it pays off. So let's just shut... This, the cows are staying out like I said, we'll also shut. Um, we'll leave that open, but we will shut up here. Try and lock up. 
I don't think George is in here. Unless he's just sitting around somewhere. Nope. Nothing. We'll quickly check on the cows just to see how they're getting on before we head back to the trailer. Like I said, maybe a bit of rain coming. Yeah, cows are fine. Look happy enough. And they're still feeding. There's still a bit of hay in there. Yeah, hay's fine. And the water pump's working now as well. Yeah, we'll leave them. We'll head back and uh, we'll try and ask George tomorrow where he's been, I guess. Strange for him to be away all day. Tell you one thing, after a hard day like that out in the fields, there's nothing better than just sitting out having a beer. So I think tomorrow we'll try and spread the muck in the field in front of us. And then Yeah, we'll try to speak to George. We need to find out what the plan is with a planter or a seeder. And if he wants to put grass in or crop, I don't know. I can hear someone. Just main road. Yep. Ah, it's George. Hey up, George. Where have you been, man? I haven't seen you all day. I was starting to get worried. Sorry about that, Scroft. I've been busy today trying to sort things out. Anyway, how's your day gone? Yeah, it went pretty well. Do you want to have a quick look at the field over here with me? I've actually gone out ahead and ploughed it. So I did the normal jobs, looked after the cows and all that, but uh, I actually ploughed it. I'm going to have to get a torch out. It took me all pretty much all afternoon and some of the evening, but we've ploughed ahead and you can see though, a lot of stones have turned up, which is unfortunate. Yeah, that is unfortunate. Mm, makes me think about planter. It's probably going to get a bit of damage off that. Do you know what, George? I thought the exact same. But I also thought we haven't even got a planter or a cedar. And still don't know what we're going to do in this. We'll have to have a good chat about that and figure something out. Yeah, we well, don't worry about that. We'll get something sorted. At least you're making good progress. Yep, that's true. That is true. Ah, oh, you're having a beer, are you? Do you mind if I join you? No, no problem. Um, pull up one of these chairs, mate. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab you another beer out. I mean, I've got a few. I may as well get the crate out. There you go, George. have got plenty of beers now. Help yourself. I don't mind if I do. Cheers. So... What have you been doing then, George? What's this plan you've got? I know you've got the ball now, and you've been away pretty much most of the day. I know you were sorting things out. I mean, you ready to tell me what's going on yet? Yeah, sorry about all the secrets. I just wanted to make sure everything was sorted before I went about telling anyone. But I think now, after today, it looks like things are set in motion. I don't know if you know, but I own a lot of property around the area. I own all the houses behind the farm, and I rent them out. I've done it for a long time. Now, I know we haven't spoke to you much about the farm and the history of the farm and everything that goes around it, but before the wife passed, she used to look after all that kind of stuff for me. I tried to do a lot of farming, I had big plans, and I never got round to doing it. When the wife passed, I had to start looking after the things she used to do and it just changed things for me. So it's been difficult. I've always wanted to expand the farm. I like the animal side of things. I've always liked the arable side of things too, but more so the animals. So what I want to try and do, like I said, is expand on the farm. It's difficult to do. The hardest part of it was getting planning permission. As you know, a lot of the buildings in the area, they've got some history to them. But because I own it, and I've been leasing it out for such a long time, 
I've been trying and trying and trying and finally I've got the planning permission. So the other day when you dropped me off, what I had to do, which was pretty awkward, was tell everyone that I'm leasing out to that they're gonna have to move out. Now a lot of them I've known for years, so they were fine about it. I mean, I've given good notice, six months notice. It's gonna take a long time to even the work to start. I'll have to demolish everything. So now we're pretty much at a good stage. I've got the, the planning permission. The tenants have got the notice. I've been getting quotes on the work. I've kind of got a good idea now as well where I want to go with it. So pretty much all that's left to do is try and sort out a short-term solution to the cows we've got now because we're not going to have anywhere to put them. And I want the work to start as soon as winter hits. And we're probably going to be out of action for a good seven months. So uh, today I've been up to Tony's. I've been to a, another contractor's as well just to ask if he can take our cows for us. And he's happy to do that. So that's good news. So the plan is, it's going to cost a bit of money, but we're going to get a new cow shed. And we're going to get some more cows. The fact that you are helping me out now, it's ignited me to do the things that I set out to do a long time ago. I'm going to make this farm something me and you are. I tell you what, George. I like the sound of that. Well, you know I'm here for the long haul. I'm happy. I really am. And I, I, I think it's a great idea. I mean... Bigger farm, more cows. I'm, I'm excited to see what happens. You should have told me before. I know, I understand you wanted to keep it to yourself just in case it didn't work out the way you wanted it, but it sounds like it's a great idea. I am glad that you've now got the chance to, to do these things. And that's great news, George. Anyway, I think it's time to crack open another beer. Here's to the future, George. Cheers, mate.